Hello, in this video we're going to cover fixing and diagnosing of the phase A or phase B wire disconnect on our 10 microprinters. The most likely cause for this issue if there was a lot of vibration in shipping or if the motor was not fully connected during the assembly stage. So I'm going to go ahead and get a close up of the Z motor on our micro 10 printers and also before plugging in or unplugging any motors you must turn off power to the printer. So here is the Z motor and as you can see it's this uh, little flat wide connector here and if you do not plug it in all the way such as that, that is not plugged in all the way and you might even get some uh, sparks here between the motor and the wire connector and that is very bad. Please turn the printer off if you see any sparks between the connectors. So we're going to make sure that this is fully plugged in all the way and if you were getting errors, so I'm going to try and get the printer, I'm going to turn power back onto the printer, and I'm trying to get the printer and the computer here in the same shot so you can see. You should go ahead and home the axes one at a time. So home X, Y, and Z, so I'm going to push home X. We have home X moving. I'm going to go ahead and push home Y, and then I'm going to push Home Z. And as you can see here, the air did not appear because all the motors are fully plugged in correctly. I'm now going to briefly turn off the printer and I'm going to fully unplug the Z motor all the way and then turn the printer back on. So now that the Z motor is fully unplugged, when we try and home Z, we should start getting a bunch of phase A and phase B motor disconnects. And there we are in the errors. The errors will appear here. And you can also go to the console and see what the errors are being uh, said in the past. So since this is obviously not working, we're going to go ahead and turn the printer off and plug the Z motor back in. Uh, if you have confirmed that all the Y motor, which is over here, the Z motor and the X motor, which you can get at the X motor by undoing one screw here and then lifting this cover back and inspecting this connection, we generally do a line of epoxy here on the X motor to ensure that uh, the wire does not come disconnected. So the X motor is probably not the issue. And then we have the connections on the inside of the control board. So if you've inspected all the motor connections on each motor and you're still getting a phase wire disconnect, we are going to need to take the cover off the motor, electronics, and inspect. So normally there's a cover here with four Phillips head screwdrivers, and uh, four Phillips head screws. You can just use a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the screws. And we are going to be inspecting the stepper motor connections, which are located here on the left side of the board. So here we have on the top, we have the Z motor, then we have the Y motor, then we have the X, and then we have the extruder motor. You wanna make sure that these connections are fully plugged in. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the Z motor wire here. And always try and grip the connector by the side and not by pulling it out by the wire if you're disconnecting it. And as you can see, it's just fully disconnected. This may have happened if there was a lot of shipping vibration, but should not have been, and you can go ahead and plug that connector right back in. And that should fix any issues you have with the phase A or phase B motor wire disconnect. And also, of course, do not forget about the extruder wire that you plug in to the extruder.